Now we're ready to look at measures 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. The only difference between these and measures 1 through 8 is one of the chords at measure 10 and then the pickup notes at measure 16 at the end of it. So let me play 9 through 16 so you can hear how similar they are to 1 through 8. So we're starting off with our C chord, 5th string, 4th, 3rd, and then right here where we strum the C chord in measure 2, we're going to strum an A minor chord. So it's almost like a C chord. I still have finger 1 on the 2nd string 1st fret. Finger 2, you're still on the 4th string in the 2nd fret. But finger 3, you're on the 3rd string 2nd fret. Pick will strum 5, 4, 3, 2. Then we'll have 1st string open followed by the 2nd string 3rd fret. Then we go back to our C chord, play 5, 4, 3, 2, hit the 4th string, slide up 2 frets, give me the 5th and 4th strings, then jump to that 2 finger G chord, strings 6 and 5, frets 3 and 2, strum 6, 5, 4, 3. Then the 3rd string twice, back to our C chord, strum 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2nd string 3rd fret, take it off, Give me the first fret of the second string, go to the G chord, strum it, third string second, second string open, back to the C chord, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 again, third string, fourth, fifth, and then right here is where we need two different pickup notes. And those two different pickup notes are the first string open twice. And this leads us into the next phrase. So let me play once again 9 to 16 slowly so you can hear where I put the A minor in and also how I changed the pickup notes. A minor. Back to the C. And this leads us into measure 17. Let's take a look at what happens there. 